Your Excellency, we are so happy to have you with us at Yalla Kora. It's such a great honor for us. Thank you very much, and welcome to the Spanish Embassy. Thank you for having us. Thank you so much. And welcome, Raoul, and welcome, Amra and Hisham. We are so glad to have you too. Uh, how do you see, Your Excellency, how do you see the football can co uh, contribute in the reapproachment between Egypt and Spain, uh, especially in the youth uh, state? Well, uh, sports in general are are a huge component of uh, what I think is education of, of, uh, of, our, of our young people. Soccer can be interpreted as a school of life. It has uh, wonderful values embedded in it. So companionship, uh, sacrifice, effort, uh, uh, strive to be better, and particularly teamwork. So this uh, it should be part of any curriculum of education and I'm very happy that this is the case both in Spain and in Egypt. So anything we can do to contribute uh, more young people, boys, girls, women, men, uh, playing sports in general and of course the most popular sport in this world which is soccer, well, much better. So that, that should be a, a basic goal and we are happy that uh, today's activity is, uh, is a very good way of promoting uh, uh, this uh, concept. And I think uh, this concept can be uh, translated uh, in Egypt with the La Liga camp, and we are seeing now that it's the first time to have here La Liga camp, how this contribution can reapproach between the, the Egyptian football and the Spanish football. Well, as you, you have to start with the, with the bases, and you have to start with sound partners, and uh, representing the Spanish side and the Egyptian side. La Liga, I don't think we, we need to talk too much about it because uh, it represents uh, one of the most important uh, uh, soccer championships in the world, uh, the Spanish Premier League, which is called La Liga, and which is followed massively in Egypt. And they have partnered with Six Yards, an Egyptian organization that, uh, of course, is in, in good contact with... Uh, with, uh, with the basis, with the base of the Egyptian youth, and they are therefore capable of co-organizing this very important uh, activity, which consists of you know, soccer camps in which uh, young Egyptians will spend some time, enjoy, play soccer, and as some of them will have the exclusive right of moving on, the most talented of them are moving on to a special camp which will take place in Spain further down uh, in this year. So I think it, it sounds fantastic and, uh, and uh, the scouts will be there, uh, of course, with their eyes very open to, to, to see what kind of talent is present uh, among these young people and who knows, uh, we may find uh, the, the future Mohammed Salas. <laughs> Hopefully. Raul, can you, talk, uh, can you tell us more about the camp and uh, the logistics and everything? Thanks, Dina, and uh, thanks, His Excellency, the Ambassador, for joining us today and for hosting us uh, at the Spanish Embassy. Um, well, the camps is a recreational activity, mostly focused on Egyptian youth, boys and girls, between 9 and 17 years old. We wanted to make this camp um, as open as possible, since it's the first camp, football camp from, from La Liga, um, in Egypt and one of the first in the region. So we wanted to make it as a first opportunity to, to everyone could um, join in. So the camps will be taking place in uh, Makadi Bay, in, uh, in a fantastic hotel in uh, Shenadu with uh, brand new facilities. It was very important for us to, um, the requirements and the um, standards were the best because at the end this is what we want to offer to the, to the market. Uh, so it will take place from the 21st to the 26th of, uh, of April. Um, this is, will be the first, the first stage of, of the project. And the second stage will take place in, in Madrid in July for those five uh, lucky and talented, talented winners. And, uh, well, you, you can access all the information into laligacampsegypt.com and follow up in, in our social media. So I think it's, uh, it's going to be a lot of new surprises coming up. In the recent days, we, we onboarded Orcas, a, a private sector uh, focused educational partner that will help us in the camps, providing with uh, lots of uh, 
introductory classes from coding to maths to science and I think this is a very good addition to the core football part so um, as I said um, follow us keep, uh, keep you uh, we will keep you posted on all the news about the about the camps because uh, this is just uh, the beginning uh, Amr can you tell us about your contribution what make you uh, uh, want to be in the part in the La Liga first camp in Egypt Thank you, Dina. Thank you, His Excellency. Thank you, Raul. Thank you for all your support. Um, actually, uh, Six Yards is focusing on the grassroots and on the young generation. And on the, we accepted this uh, challenge. I will say it as a challenge uh, for us because we have uh, a strategy in our company is to uh, try to contribute and to bring the the. The, the, the standards, the European standards uh, here in Egypt. Um, when Raoul um, talked with us about this project, we uh, said, sure, we will take it into consideration. We will work with you on it um, because it is a very good chance for the Egyptian uh, footballers, for the young athletes here, to uh, know the, the international standards. We have here a lot of, as His Excellency said, a lot of Mohammed Salah. We have a lot of uh, uh, very good, talented players, but there is um, the, the excellency is a little bit missing. And that's exactly, we said we will partner up and we will use this opportunity and we'll partner up with La Liga because um, they are working with excellency. And this is actually why we, we will pitch in, in this uh, project and looking forward to have a perfect organization. Hijem, is everything is ready now for the camp? Thank you, Dina. Thank you, Excellency and Raoul. Uh, yeah, we are ready and uh, preparing for, for the camp. Uh, actually, we have uh, almost one month or one month to go. And uh, we have uh, two weeks before the camp, uh, like a meeting with all the, the parents, uh, so we can give them all the brief for the, for the camp. And uh, yeah, hopefully that uh, everyone will enjoy the, the camp, the kids. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a very good opportunity, uh, as the Excellency said, uh, for, the, for the kids uh, and Raul. For, it's, it's not only about football, it's uh, about uh, it's also an educational part. It's very important for the kids uh, to learn more uh, about uh, the ethics of uh, football. And uh, yeah, looking forward. Your Excellency, uh, talking about the football, what's your favorite uh, football team in La Liga? Well, I happen to be born in a beautiful city of Spain called San Sebastián. And uh, naturally, uh, I'm a follower of Real Sociedad. <laughs> which is the, the team uh, uh, that prevails in San Sebastián. And they are performing well in the Premier League in Spain, in La Liga. Hopefully they will make it to the Champions League, which is the main goal, inshallah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not one of the top, top teams uh, up to now, although they have won two leagues in the past, and they are usually, you know, uh, they, they, they fight. Uh, it's a tough opponent for any team. So that's my favorite team. But of course, I follow all the others and I, I very much enjoy the, the, the extraordinary skills of Real Madrid and Barcelona, Atletico de Madrid, Valencia, and all the, all the other teams that, uh, and, uh, and some of them are doing very, very well this year. So, uh, and competing with many other teams in the world. The former and the current uh, director, technical director of the handball team of Egypt is a Spanish and also the Ahli club, uh, the, the technical uh, director is a Spanish. How do you see the, the big trust of the Egyptian association to the Spanish coaches? Well, we have to be humbled uh, uh, in appreciation uh, of the choice by the Egyptian federations to, to, to trust uh, Spanish uh, trainers and Spanish professionals to, to guide their teams whenever there is sufficient talent. Uh, and I think uh, handball is particularly a field where both the Egyptian and Spanish teams and the national squads are among the best in the world. But Spain has been world champion on different occasions, Olympic champion I think as well. So uh, yes, some of those uh, professionals have led uh, the Spanish uh, teams uh, to the highest pinnacles of the sport uh, are now able, uh, thanks to the trust given by the, their Egyptian counterparts, to be here training the Egyptians. And I think this is a win-win uh, partnership for all sides. And, and inshallah, 
the the Egyptians will achieve all those all those goals as well. Does any of these coaches uh, call you first and contact you uh, before accepting the offers? Not really, uh, and uh, I think it shouldn't be the case. Uh, uh, this is a uh, sport uh, should be encouraged by governments and official institutions. But at the end of the day, it's a, it's the clubs, it's a private sector that should uh, take the leading role, and uh, so it's their decision. And we're simply very proud that this is, has happened. Talking about the sports, uh, what sports in Egypt attracts you most? Well, I, I think, uh, of course, uh, soccer is number one <laughs> in the world, and uh, I know that handball is particularly, you know, uh, followed in, in Egypt. Uh, but um, I wouldn't uh, pick up one single sport. Uh, uh, I do have a soft spot for, for uh, handicapped uh, people's sports, you know, the Paralympics, etc. And I think it's very important because it, conveys the image that uh, sport is for everybody and competition is for everybody. It's, it's healthy, it's good, and, uh, and uh, you, can, you can fulfill all your dreams through sport. And anybody, men, women particularly, but also the handicapped uh, crowd uh, should have a very important role in, in, in sports. So all are invited uh, to uh, train sports and to uh, do sports, right? I think that, that is the, the basic message. Uh, I mean, come on, everybody, put on your sneakers, your training equipment, and use the facilities that are there and are growing, as we know. Do sports, and, and in no time, you'll be, you'll be enjoying life in a much better way. Thank you so much, Your Excellency, for everything, and thank you for having us. It's, it's a great honor. The honor is ours uh, anytime you want. Mrs. Thank Jones. you. Thank you, Raoul. Thank you, Amr. Thank you, Shem. Thank you, Amr. Thank you so much.